What is up guys, Tommy H here, and welcome back to another video regarding Godzilla vs. King Kong. Now, getting King Kong off of Skull Island is something that I have talked about many times before. It is one of the more significant aspects of this film because if we do want to see King Kong and Godzilla fight, they have to come face to face in one location. Whether this is Skull Island or Mainland, we can't tell yet, but I do believe it's fair to say that this battle will take place in a city environment. That's the most likely option, but in order for that to happen, you have to somehow get Kong off the island. Now they can try to drug him and then transport him to the mainland, they can get a titan to go and communicate with him, or they can do something a bit more simple but a lot more dangerous. When you look back on Kong Skull Island, it seems like the only character that really mattered in the end was Houston Brooks. He apparently showed up in Godzilla King of the Monsters and he probably will have an impact on Godzilla vs Kong. But one character that we are overlooking is Mason Weaver. We know how the whole King Kong franchise has gone, there's always been one woman that Kong falls in love with, and he will do anything in his power to make sure that she stays alive. Every time the woman is around, Kong gets a bit more defensive and he goes to war. And in all of these movies, the woman does not only stay with him on Skull Island, but rather mainland as well. And I think it would be a bit strange to have Mason Weaver have that relationship back in the 1970s and then it be over for good. If they never meet up again and interact, then what was the point back in Kong Skull Island? That is why I do believe there's a very good possibility of them sending Mason Weaver to Skull Island to lure out Kong. It could be a very similar situation to Owen Grady and Blue in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. It has been many years since they interacted or had any sort of relationship, but they never forgot what it was like. They will never forget each other until the day they die. She is obviously going to be quite a bit older than she was back in the 1970s, but that does not really matter. We have seen videos in real life of animals and human beings reuniting for the first time in a couple of decades. I think King Kong will remember and then follow her. It's hard to tell exactly what they will do with her though. We don't know if the storm surrounding School Island is still there, but if it isn't, they might just have Mason Weaver stand on the edge of a warship. This way, King Kong sees her and pays no attention to anything else. It is all about her, and because of that, he would then follow her for hundreds of miles. It's essentially a human sacrifice that would set up King Kong and Godzilla going face to face for the first time ever. I just feel like some of these characters from Kong Skull Island should at least play some role in this film. I don't get why they wouldn't show up in any scene. But what do you guys think? Should Mason Weaver show up and lure Kong out of Skull Island? Write all of your opinions on this topic down below, and if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe if you want, and if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and have a nice day.